In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to make $100 a day with free websites. If you ain't beefing about the money, then what's the problem? What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Paul James here, and again, like the title says, I'm gonna share with you how to make at least $100 a day using free websites, and I say $100 a day, but in reality, you can actually use this method to make even more than that. There's lots of times where I've done it and made 200, 300, even $500 using this exact same method that I'm gonna break down with you today in this video. So if you're excited for that and you're ready to learn this, do me a favor and smash that like button for me right now. Also, if you've never been to the channel before, again, my name is Paul James, welcome. This is a place where we talk about business, motivation, entrepreneurship. So if you're into any of those things, you should drop below the video right now, hit the subscribe button, and then after you subscribe, if you comment on my video saying I subscribe, I'm gonna go back through, I'm gonna reply to your comment, and I'm gonna welcome you to the channel because I am just so excited that you're a new member of our family here, and I'm just so happy to have you. So the way that this method works, guys, is we're gonna need to look for business owners that do not have a website. There's tons of business owners out there that have either just started, or they just haven't got around to it yet, or they just don't know anyone who can do it for them, but we wanna look for people who actually do not have a website in place yet. Now, if you're thinking, Paul, I'm not a website designer, so this method's not gonna work for me, I want you to hold that thought because I'm gonna share with you a way around that. In fact, you can actually get websites designed for as little as $5. I'm gonna show you where and how to do that, or even how to design it yourself if you've never done that before. I even have tutorials on that. So. Stay tuned for that. You can do it even if you don't know how to program or code or anything like that. So how are we gonna make money? Well, we're not gonna charge people for designing the website. We're actually gonna give the website away for free. Now I know what you're thinking, Paul, how are we gonna make at least $100 a day if we're giving these websites that we're designing or getting paid to get designed for free? That is a valid thought. We're not actually gonna make money off of the website itself. No, we're gonna make money off of the website's hosting. Let me explain what I mean. For every website out there, in order to actually visit it, to go to like the www.website.com, you have to actually have that website hosted on a web host. Now, if business owners don't have a website, chances are pretty good they're not gonna have web hosting. By giving the website away to them for free, this is your tripwire, this is your foot in the door. And instead, where you're gonna make your money is on the website's hosting. You're gonna charge them to host the website for them. All right, so if you're wondering, how am I gonna host this website? I know nothing about hosting. There's two options actually that you can actually go with. Option number one is you can go the affiliate marketing route. Lots of hosting companies have affiliate programs that will pay you upwards of $100 per lead that you send them, sometimes less, sometimes more. It just depends what kind of deal you can find. And you'll get paid simply for referring a customer to them. So if you go and you design this free website for your client, you can go and you can say, hey, we need hosting, here's the link to sign up. And when they sign up through your link, you would actually get paid from that hosting company a referral fee of somewhere around $100, just depends, for referring that customer to them. So that's kind of the easy hands-off method. But you can actually make a lot more money using the method that I recommend, which is actually hosting the websites yourself. What you actually do is you're going to pick up a hosting plan that allows you to add unlimited websites to it so that you can actually host all of your clients' websites on your hosting plan. So you pay one flat rate, low monthly fee, and then you basically become a web host of your own for your clients, and you charge them a monthly fee to host their website with you. Now one thing that I really like to do to make sure that you absolutely kill it with this method is I like to offer them a two month discount if they'll pay me for the hosting up front. So what I actually do is if they'll sign up for the entire year and pay me one lump sum for the entire year, I'll actually give them two months free. So let's say, for example, that you're gonna charge them $30 a month to host their website. Instead of actually charging them each month by month by month, you're gonna offer them $60 off, two free months, if they pay you the entire year up front. So what that basically means is that as soon as they work with you, they're gonna write you a check or pay you through PayPal, however you wanna get paid, for $300 the entire year up front. And boom, you just made $300 now off of a free website. Are you starting to see how this method works? It's really, really clever and it works out really, really well. And I encourage you to absolutely go out there and give it a try. And I'm gonna break down some more details so that you can actually figure this out. So one of the most challenging parts that you might think of is how are we gonna find people to actually pay for this service if we're like prospecting? Because obviously, if people don't have a website, like how are we gonna find them? Well, that's where one of my favorite sites for this method comes in. You see a lot of business owners when they're in need of work, 
even if they don't have a website yet. They go on a classified site to actually search for work. All right, hopefully this picks up at the place where it left off. My memory card just got full, so I had to actually go and delete some stuff to make more room so that we could finish shooting this video. So let's try and get back into this. So like I was saying, one of my favorite ways to prospect with this method is to actually use classified sites, and one of my favorite sites to use is Craigslist. We can actually go on Craigslist and we can find prospects who don't have a website yet. So let's hop on the computer and I'll break down exactly how this is done. All right guys, so you'll wanna go to your local Craigslist or whatever Craigslist you wanna target. You really don't have to pick like a city that is yours or whatever, it can be any city that you want. So I'm just gonna pick Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the city that I live nearby. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the section where business owners would be posting their services for. So you can decide on what kind of service you wanna target. If you wanna go after lawyers, you could target the legal service. If you wanna go after like auto shops, you could target that. Uh, skilled trade, that's a good section to target because these are gonna be like, you know, your tree trimming, removal. It's gonna be your painters. These are gonna be your um, like plumbers, heating contractors, and so on and so forth. And as you start clicking through the listings, you'll find contact details. And specifically what you're looking for is no website attached to the listing because that's a pretty good indicator that they don't have a website. Um, so if you wanna do some calling, which works great, here's a phone number. Here's another one with a phone number. No website though, just a phone number. So you could give them a call. Another one, more phone numbers, no websites. Here's an example of one that you wouldn't wanna call as a lead because they've actually included their website at the bottom. So that wouldn't be a good one. Now you can actually go right on Google and look for leads as well, people who don't have a website. Go to Google, type in your keyword and whatever city you wanna target and come down to the map listings and click more places here. And what you wanna do is you wanna start going through these and clicking through them. And I'll show you what you're looking for. You're looking for ones that don't have this website link. So just go through and you'll start to find some. Here's one that doesn't have a website link, but they do have a phone number. And you can do some more research. You can see if you can find a uh, email address for this business. You could just Google the business name and you might find it. Um, here they have a Facebook page, so you could probably reach out to them that way. Uh, they have a yellow pages listing um, and they have an email on their yellow page listing right here. So if you actually click that, it'll open up the email um, or you can see it in the lower left hand corner of my screen. Uh, as well. Now that we have a prospect in mind, we need to actually get them a website built for them to look at and approve of. Now I've actually got a tutorial in the description of this video that you can check out that breaks down exactly how to build a website from scratch even if you're not a website designer. You can use easy site builders like WordPress to build a really professional looking website without having any sort of design or programming experience. So if you want to follow my tutorial on that and you want to just do it yourself, you can definitely do that. The link is in the description. So I encourage you to check that out. Otherwise, one of my favorite ways to leverage my time so that I don't have to do it myself is to use a site called Fiverr.com. You can actually find people on Fiverr for $5 to build you out a really good looking website. All right guys, so this is super easy. Fiverr.com, head over, type in website designer, or you can even just do like website design. Probably would be even better. And we're going to scroll down here and do price range. We'll just do five to $10 and hit this and this will actually filter them out. What you're gonna find is a lot of different gigs to actually get stuff designed. Right here, $5, I will create a stunning web design. And you can go through and check it out and you can look at some of their work. I mean, like this is pretty good for only five bucks to be able to get this done. Um, so there's lots of options. Make sure you check out the reviews and that's pretty much the gist of it. It's really that easy. Now that you have the website design, you're gonna have to go and show it to the client ask what they think of it, and if they like it, here's where you come in with your hook for the hosting. You're gonna say, well, great, that's awesome. Do you have hosting yet? And of course, we probably already know the answer to that. They probably don't have hosting if they don't have a website. And you're gonna to explain to them what hosting is. You're gonna to explain to them that every website on the internet needs hosting in order for people to go to it, and that you can set them up with this for X, Y, Z. Either that's going through your affiliate link or going my preferred route and setting up a hosting account of your own and just hosting their site on your hosting account and charging them a discounted yearly fee for hosting it. Heck, even if you charge $10 a month, that's $120 a year. If you give them two months free, that's $100. That means one client per day is $100 per day. So that's why this method is so cool and you can really leverage it to do a bunch of different things with it. If you do wanna go the affiliate offer route though and you wanna find a hosting offer, I'm gonna break down how to do that. Let's go hop on the computer and I'll show you how to find offers. Like I said, the other alternative is to find an affiliate offer or a CPA offer and just give them the link to sign up through your referral link. 
You can come into a site like OfferVault and go to website hosting and look for offers and hit search. And they'll show you all of the offers that are out there that exist and how much they pay. Like I said, they range around $100. And especially if you go, you can see here, here's one for 100. There's some for 80, but you can definitely find ones for 100. Um, I've even found some for 125. And literally you get paid just for them to sign up for the hosting, which is great. And you can uh, work out deals with these uh, people too as well once you sign up for them to pay you more. So if one says $80, you can actually say, hey, will you bump me up to $100? And they'll almost always do it, especially if you're able to bring in people every day. All right, guys, so that's how you find an affiliate offer. But again, I really would encourage you to go the route of actually buying shared hosting and then hosting these websites on your hosting platform because you're just gonna make a lot more money doing it that way. It also gives you a lot of upsell opportunities. And here's what I mean by that. You could actually upsell them to have their own email address at their domain. So if their company website is bobsplumbing.com, you could charge them to have an email address of bob at bobsplumbing.com. Now, Google actually has a suite of tools where they charge customers to do this. They charge $5 a month for each email. Imagine if your client has 10 employees and they want 10 different email addresses and you're charging $5 a month for each email address. That's an extra $50 a month in upsell that you could add in and be making even more money. And if you check out the link in my description, I show you how to set up the hosting so that you can charge them. I show you how to set up the email so that you can do that. And I also show you how to design the website using WordPress. So you definitely should go check out that free mini series. It's pretty cool. I think you'll enjoy it. Another really good upselling opportunity is to have your website that you're designing for them for free include a certain number of pages. Maybe it includes like an about us page and a contact us page. But another upsell opportunity is that you could actually charge them to add additional pages. Maybe they wanna have a services page where they talk about what they do. You could charge maybe $50 extra to add in that page for them. So there's really just a lot of options and that's why I really love this method and I think you're gonna enjoy it too. But that's all I have for you in this video. If you enjoyed it, again, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and make sure you have notifications turned on so that you get notified of every new video when I release them. But until next time, guys, I am Paul James. Peace out.